Hi guys, in this video I'm going to demo how I would draw a 20 or 30 minute pose of the figure. I'll explain how to switch from gesture to contour and I'll also explain how to avoid making some common mistakes when it comes to drawing the shape. So welcome to my studio, my name is Siobhan. On this channel, I post videos about figure drawing and specifically how you can develop a dynamic, expressive and responsive style of drawing through gesture drawing. But I often combine gesture with a slow contour line. And in this video, I'm going to talk through that process. Hopefully this will help you to think about drawing a pose that is a little bit more than just a quick sketch, but not as detailed or as rendered as a fully finished, you know, academic drawing. I think that you can make beautiful drawings in just 20 or 30 minutes. And these are drawings that you can keep rather than just sort of throw away warm ups or gesture drawings. For this drawing, I'm using a Conte à Paris pencil and some newsprint paper, but really you can use any material you like. You can work with charcoal, you can use a pen or a pencil, you can work in your sketchbook, it doesn't really matter. So even for 20 or 30 minute drawing, I think it's really good to just pace yourself and to spend a fair bit of time in the early stages, just working on the gesture, figuring out the shape, and the angle of the pose and for me personally um, I tend to make these sort of observations or you can call them construction lines I tend to draw them very loosely not sort of carefully or precisely at all I'm just literally trying to figure out like the shape and the flow of the pose even though these are gestural marks what I'm trying to do most is really establish the angle so the angle of the pose to me is really important because that's going to make or break the drawing at the end of the day. Like for example in here, the way the back is bending sort of over to the right and um, this is the line of the spine. And I'm tr it seems like it should be easy enough to do that, but I've already spotted that I've made some incorrect marks where it, where it comes to the angle. So a handy thing to, uh, or a good thing to do is to visualize or imagine like a horizontal line or a vertical, wait, a horizontal line or a vertical line and then you can easily judge angles. So in my mind I'm just picturing a vertical line coming down and I can see that my initial sort of judgment of the angle was wrong. Okay, so now I can see, see it a bit more clearly. Um, the same goes for the head. The angle of the head is super important. I've got to get that right. I would try and draw it up here instinctively, but I've got to kind of force myself to actually draw it a bit lower. So that angle there where the shoulder is, is actually very important to get right. Once these basic sort of overall angles are working, then I can figure out the, how the rest of the drawing or how the rest of the shapes in this pose fit together. So with that in place, I can easily see that the right side of the waist is very short, it's bending over. I can find where the pelvis is tilting and also crucially, you know, where the arm is gonna go. So this arm is extended all the way down to the foot. So what I'm doing is I'm sort of comparing key areas like the wrist and the elbow to where the legs are. So the elbow's there, that's the upper leg, the thigh. And now I've pretty much gotten the whole gesture of the pose down. I've sort of blocked everything in now, I feel like in a very gestural way. 
this point, I'm going to just switch to a contour line. And what that means really is just, I'm going to slow things down a little bit and start to draw with a lot more, I won't say precision, but a bit more consideration and certainly a lot slower. The gestural phase of the drawing is always a fast, impulsive sort of mark making phase, just getting something on paper, you know, to kind of match the shape or the, like the dynamic quality of the pose. And then when you switch over to a contour line, you can slow things down a lot more. If you want any more information about contour drawing, I'm going to leave a couple of links for you in the description about what exactly is a contour drawing, how to use contour and blind contour. So check those out if you're interested. For me, this way of drawing is really powerful. I think it, that it really helps you to improve your observation and the way you observe and how you look is, I think the most crucial sort of thing to improve on if you want to improve your drawing. So check those links out and if you've got any questions at all, obviously you can just uh, give me a shout and let me know. What I will say is that it's a slow process. I won't, you know, I'll speed up the drawing after this so that you can actually get through this drawing with me. But bear in mind, contour drawing is very slow and very careful. You don't want to rush it. Actually. My advice really for contour drawing is to go twice as slow as you think you're drawing and also to look probably 50% more at your reference image than at your drawing. Overall, that's really my drawing process for making a 20 or a 30 minute drawing. I don't like to overwork a drawing and in that length of time it's easy to sort of rush the first section, the first half and then to spend quite a lot of time overworking the drawing towards the end. I think it's better to spend much more time in the beginning just using gesture marks very very lightly um, to you know block out your pose, block out your angles as lightly as you can and then spend the last third of your drawings sort of making details or finding you know very strong contours the 20 minute drawing is not going to be a fully rendered highly polished drawing but i actually think that in order to make a finished drawing, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you can leave in some of your imperfections and still say everything that you want to say about the pose. Um, at least for me, that works. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you able to get a satisfactory sort of drawing done in a time frame like 20 minutes or 30 minutes? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Please let me know or give me any suggestions that you have of how to tackle this time frame of a drawing. I wanted to share this video just so that you have an understanding of how to move beyond the gestural phase of a drawing. It's all very well to focus on gesture um, for one minute or two minute poses, but you know, you need to be able to move from a one minute and two minute pose into a longer study. And this is the way I would do it. I would use gesture for the first section and then switch over to a slower contour line uh, towards the end.
So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you got some useful information out of it. Let me know below if you've got any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll look out for you in the next video.